Sonos recently dropped a bomb in the audio world with the release of the Sonos Move 2. And trust me when I tell you this speaker is more than just an upgrade, it's a whole sound revolution. Packed with amazing features and sound that'll blow your mind. This little speaker is all set to change the portable sound game. So come along with us in this video as we take a wild ride straight into the heart of the Sonos Move 2. This is one ride you won't want to miss. And hey, for more information and updated price, check the link in the description box below. Alright, let's start with the design. Right off the bat, you'll notice that the Move 2 has a very similar aesthetic to the original Move speaker that Sonos released in 2019. It features the same tall cylindrical shape with a handle on the back for easy carrying. The grill wraps all the way around the speaker in a matching black color. However, there are some design updates in the Move 2. For instance, it now has a USB-C line-in option around the back and a touch control volume slider on the top. That said, the Move 2 is designed to look and feel like part of your home with an elegant shape and three beautiful colors that can blend in or stand out. Overall, the look is simple, modern, and understated. This is definitely more of an indoor kind of speaker that'll blend into your living space nicely. Some people were hoping for a more rugged outdoor look, but Sonos decided to stick with what works. Personally speaking, I'm a fan of the minimalist design. It has a timeless quality about it. The Move 2 is a bit larger than the original at around 10 inches tall by 6 inches wide. It also gained a little weight, now clocking in at 6.5 pounds. The extra size and weight makes it feel really solid and substantial. The original Move feels a bit light and hollow to me, so the added heft is welcomed here. Now let's dive deeper into the sound quality, because that's what's most important in a speaker. Sonos packed the Move 2 full of updated components to take the audio performance to the next level. You're getting two Class D digital amplifiers powering the drivers, one midwoofer and one tweeter. All of that combined delivers rich, detailed sound with deep punchy bass and crisp highs. The bass in particular sounds amazing. It's strong and full without distorting, even at high volumes. So if you like listening to lots of different music genres like rock, hip-hop, acoustic, jazz, classical, and more, the Move 2 handles everything flawlessly. The 360-degree sound projection is seriously impressive, too. No matter where you place the Move 2, it fills the room with layered, immersive audio. And if you pair two Move speakers in stereo mode, it takes it to another level with a wide, expansive soundstage. The stereo separation is fantastic. Speaking of loud volume, the Move 2 gets plenty loud to power a small party indoors or outdoors. Sonos rates it as having the highest dynamic range of any Sonos speaker. I can confirm it pumps out some serious decibels without straining at all. One of my favorite things about the Move speaker is its versatility. This thing can be used inside or outside seamlessly. It's weather resistant and durable enough to handle the elements on a patio or at the beach. You also get Bluetooth connectivity in addition to Wi-Fi, so you can easily take the Move 2 on the go. Battery life is excellent, up to 24 hours of playtime on a single charge. That's plenty for all-day outdoor use or extended indoor listening sessions. And the Move 2 is compatible with both Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa for convenient voice commands no matter where you are. Very handy. You can ask it to play music, set timers, control smart home devices, and more. Let's talk more about the sound quality outdoors, since that's a major selling point. The Move 2 uses a technology called TruePlay that tunes the speaker's sound profile to match the acoustics of wherever you're using it. It works remarkably well to optimize the audio whether you're on the patio or in the living room. You do have to keep it away from reflective surfaces so the sound can radiate properly when TruePlay is tuning. My only complaint here is that you have to have an iOS device to run TruePlay. I really wish Sonos would update this to work with Android as well, but it's a minor gripe for an otherwise awesome feature. Alright, now let's talk more about using the Move 2 outdoors, since that's one of its main strengths. With the weatherproofing and durable build, you don't have to worry at all about getting this thing wet or dusty. The battery lasts over 24 hours, like I said, so you can easily get through a full day of outdoor use without recharging. You can take it to the beach, on hikes, to backyard barbecues, and more without ever running out of juice. The Bluetooth range is solid, too. You can walk 100 feet away from the speaker before losing connection, so you have plenty of flexibility in placement. 
no need to keep your phone in your pocket. And thanks to the integrated handle, the Move 2 couldn't be easier to carry. It's super convenient to grab it off the kitchen counter and walk out onto the patio with your music, or load it into the car for a picnic or a tailgate. This thing is ready for adventure. Okay, now let's talk more about the sound quality specifically for indoor use. Like I mentioned earlier, the Move 2 fills a room with rich, vibrant sound. It's impressive how loud and full it gets without any distortion, even in large spaces. It provides the perfect musical backdrop. And for watching movies in the living room, the Move 2 provides clear, detailed audio for the action and dialogue. Voices come through very cleanly. At lower volumes for background music, the Move 2 still shines. The mid-range and highs come through crisp and balanced. Acoustic tracks with vocals and instruments sound extremely clear and natural. Speaking of tuning the sound, the Sonos app has some EQ presets you can choose from to optimize the audio for different scenarios. You get presets like bass boost, treble boost, loudness, and more. I found them very useful for customizing the listening experience. You can use the Sonos app for streaming music services, podcasts, radio stations, and more. It finds the Move 2 speaker automatically, so setup takes just a couple minutes. Just connect it to your Wi-Fi and you're good to go. Super simple. Alright, let's talk about batteries and charging real quick. Charging happens through a USB-C port, which is great to see. No need for proprietary chargers. To fully recharge the battery from empty takes about 2.5 hours. You can get a rough estimate of remaining battery life right in the Sonos app, which is helpful. The Move 2 also has a power saving mode to conserve energy when not in use. Okay, I think that covers all the key details about the speaker. Let's recap. The sound quality is remarkable, both indoors and out. Crisp, full, detailed audio across all genres. It gets very loud without distortion. The 360-degree sound projection fills rooms with immersive audio. It's super versatile for any situation, indoor, outdoor, on the move. Weatherproof and durable enough for the elements, and the integrated handle makes it highly portable. It has great battery life up to 24 hours per charge convenient charging via USB-C, and power-saving mode. It has easy connectivity via Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, streaming services through the Sonos app, and voice control with Google or Alexa. And let's not forget the handsome yet minimalist design that looks great anywhere. In summary, the Sonos Move 2 is an impressive portable speaker with excellent sound and versatility to use anywhere. Yes, $449 is expensive, but you're paying for premium components and quality. For the right buyer, the Move 2 is worth every penny. The only negatives I can think of are lack of Android TruePlay support and no 3.5mm input. But overall, Sonos knocked it out of the park with this thing. It's a joy to listen to whether inside or outdoors. So that's my detailed review of the Sonos Move 2. For more information and updated price, check the link in the description box below. While you're at it, let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.